Well, hello, Sal Capano, and happy Wednesday to you. Real quickly, I want to go over a few things that are happening. Um, but first of all, I want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you're coming across this channel for the first time, um, please consider on subscribing. I'm, lately, I've been covering the latest POA um, and ID me. What a joke, okay? And some um, um, the tax credit. You don't want to miss the tax credit in this video. I got a couple things I want to cover. I'm going to cover the main issues. So consider yourself subscribing. For those who are subscribing and you have a friend out there or someone out there or family member, subscribing to Sal Capano. Um, like you're, you're going to get the latest updates from me with my sources and my digging deep. I'm meeting with a reporter later on today and tomorrow. I'm going to get right to it. So really, I'm going to touch on my unemployment. I haven't talked much about unemployment. There's just double dipping out there. Double dipper off the bat doesn't sound right. I'm, I'm hearing that you have to call them and I'll read a description below. Um, I guess you have to use up your claims first and then head into um, another claim. Um, there is there is ways when I'm hearing that you can actually double dip, which is keeping one open and reopen the second one. Does that make sense? But don't actually apply, but just go ahead and re get it open. So what I'm what I'm assuming by that is, so you have four weeks left. Of, this is unemployment people. Use that up and then, but at the same time, go ahead and apply for a new one. It's called double dipping, but don't open up that claim until you exhaust the other uh, other other uh, um, existing claims. So I uh, need more coffee. Um, so there's gonna be a 10 day holding is what I'm hearing. I, I, it's, I'm just reporting, it's not right. So um, this is for regular unemployment, so they can go ahead. Now I wanna talk about the job search, follow up that. By the way, the ID me, I, if you're still having problems, um, um, I, I have a description on my last videos. I'll, I'll um, I, I, detail how to get through. Unfortunately, um, good news and probably some bad news. The good news is if you missed out and you finally got through what ID me real quickly, because uh, I'm getting really, I know a lot of you are probably getting tired of hearing about it, but you got to be aware of I mean, There are some new subscribers on the channel. Um, there's a description on how to do it. They are hiring for a fact. I fought more referees. Uh, a description, try to bypass that and try to start it over and hit the refresh, but there is a description on multiple of my videos on ID me. Um, if you didn't get paid and you get through is what I was trying to say, you will get paid next week with no problem. There will not be a hold. If you're still stuck on ID me, please hit the comment below. Just say, I'm stuck. Um, give me your brief detail so I can possibly give it to the reporter or my source. Okay, off the ID me, on to the, um, this is for unemployment. Back to unemployment. So, there is a job search that's going to be required on May 1st. First of all, what are they talking about a job search? This is a pandemic still. I mean, the light is under the tunnel. We're coming out of it. But they're the ones who extended it to September 4th, right? Now they're doing a job search and you require a job search. They're treating it like regular unemployment. And to me, it's still a pandemic, right? This ain't like you were sleeping on your job or you, you got laid off or whatever it might have been. Then you have job search, right? Been like that for a million years, whatever unemployment started, right? That pisses me off that they're doing a job search for, this is unemployment, not PUA. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work. Is it gonna be three listings? It's not fair. I see both angles. If you own a coffee shop, just for an example, and you need employees, people don't wanna work, but um, it's hard because you're getting what? Minimum wage, eight, $10, $12 an hour at a coffee shop. No disrespect to a coffee shop, and I love going to coffee shops, so I see both sides. Now you're trying to get help, but if you're making a minimum of $200 a week in unemployment, 300 boost, a 300 boost, I'll say it again, that's federal boost, then you tell me. I mean, people are caught here. That's the whole thing, right? To stimulate, stimulate the economy, to make money into September, where the light and under the tunnel, we get back on our two feet somewhat, if we are. So I don't get this job search. It pisses me off. Um, people, I'm going to fight on that as well. Now, with POA, I'm going to repeat it. There's no job search right now. I don't see how they can do a job search. POA is something you never heard of unless you paid into unemployment. Think about it. If you're self-employed, you probably never got unemployment unless you paid into it. Very few people that I know even pay into it, right? So no matter what you hear, there's no job search as of now. I don't know how they would implement that. Uh, if you're a tattoo artist and that's all you know for the last 20 years, what are you going to do? Go now open up a, a pizza joint or become a personal trainer or whatever. Or if you're a hairdresser and you're, you know, so... Um, Roll back, I gotta back up, rewind a little bit. If you're on unemployment and you are working and showing earnings, I, I, when you're hearing from me, you still would have to do this job search. Again, it's May 1st. Now, POA, as of right now, um, I, I, there's some stuff out there floating around, but I'm telling you the language I'm reading through the CARES Act, excuse me, 
yeah, the CARES Act and the rescue plan and all the plans here, uh, there is no indication that you have to do a job search. How are they, you're self-employed, what are they going to make you do? I, I, you know, so again, the whole thing was the boost. Look, they're going way, making this way more too much difficult. This was, what they probably should have just done was mailed out extra money for everybody. This is a rescue plan, CARES Act, whatever you want to call it. And it pisses me off. Um, you're not going to probably see this again. I, I don't know if you'll see it in our lifetime. You know, um, uh, with this PUA, nobody knew what this was. I mean, I fought for it way in the beginning. Uh, well, I fought for it. I didn't invent it, but to get it here and implement it in Nevada, if you watch some of my videos. So anyhow, I don't see that happening. So for PUA now, credits real quickly on PUA. I don't like to keep these videos too long, but it's try to, trying to get all this information. You don't want to miss this on the tax credit, so don't just uh, turn this video off yet. This is really important on the 10,200 tax credit. Um, with the credits, what I'm hearing is, remember they gave the 11 weeks in here in Nevada, so extended to 57 weeks. So for an example, if you're at 55 weeks, you still got two weeks left on that. So the way, way I understand it, they're not telling me this, you have two weeks. I'm just throwing a number if you're 55. But if you're 56, you have one more. You're gonna use that up first. Now, if you look in your portal, and your portal's got like nothing in there, if by you calling them, ain't gonna, it's not going to do anything. So they understand the credits. And I have to say, they did anything right last time. Uh, Dieter, I'm referring to. They did a good job increasing those credits. Uh, some got it sooner. So if you look in here, it's zero today or tomorrow. Don't panic. Take a deep breath. There's a solution. They're going to update everybody's credit. But again, I, I'm assuming when you hit the 57 weeks. There was 11 weeks extended. Remember, it was one year and then extended 11 weeks, made it 57. And then we'll be covered to, uh, to September 4th. Um, I wish it was that easy with unemployment, but they, 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 it's a little mixed up on how the, the language is writing. So again, those 11 weeks I just covered. Now, um, the tax credit, 10,000 total tax credit. Now, if you haven't done your taxes yet, then you know that, that's, that's probably a good thing. I'm understanding that H&R Block and all the CPAs, um, hope, uh, if you do it yourself, it might be more complex. I would recommend going to a CPA. They already have the software for the 10,200, so they'll be able to put it in the, in the section uh, where they need to put it at. Um, and then you get it, the, the, the IRS will get it. And you might, if you're getting a direct deposit, it, it normally is 10 days. It might take 17 days or 20, but you'll get it probably sooner than people like myself and a lot of people who've done their taxes before. Um, you are 100,000% going to get that money back no matter what you hear. Um, if you claim, tw if you claimed uh, 20,000, 10,200 comes off of that. If you got money back already, then 100 percent you're going to get more money back how much the calculation i've asked a couple cpas and tax guys i'm i'm, I'm pretty good with math when i'm not a tax guy 10 percent of 10 percent of the the 10 percent of the 10,200 i'm hearing then i'm hearing 10 that 10 10 percent of the um whole unemployment then i'm hearing 10 percent of if you had income aside from that um i thought originally uh you didn't have to be in the tax bracket look i'm going to say it's going to be just to take a guess and doing some math myself it's going to be somewhere in about a thousand dollars if you made twenty thousand dollars and and the less you made a little less than that right hopefully it helps you well when we will get it will we get it yes we will get it when i don't want to get your hopes up i don't think it's gonna to be tomorrow could be leading into the summer once i get more detail and research and dig deep into this, I'll know. Well, we will get that back. They have to give that back to you. Let IRS, they're going to worry about it. And you don't have to go. There's nothing. Well, Sal, what do I do? Nothing you have to do. You don't have to file an amendment. You don't have to go to back to your CPA. Just sit back, wait for Sal Capano's video um, or, 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 or some news to come out on that. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll hear about it soon. There's nothing on there right now. All right. Uh, that's it on, on the tax credit. So, um, Again, uh, oh, and if you, you, for some reason or another, you had to pay taxes, let's say you had to pay 500 bucks, well then, you already did your taxes, now the 10,200 and you're under the 150,000, stay with me, they're probably gonna owe you a little bit of money on that too, right? So if you already paid, let's say you paid 500 dollars, wrote them out a check on the Y, I would I would have wrote them out a dollar each month, but anyhow, um, then they're, they're gonna have to, they're liable to pay you back. They have to do it, people. There's two things. You have to pay taxes, and when they make a mistake, they have to pay you back. This wasn't a mistake. This was just something that they didn't have the software for. So again, um, if you didn't follow your taxes, make sure your, your CPA, IRS guy has the software, and I'm reading that y'all should do, particularly here in Nevada. Um, let's see here. The 60, oh, one, back up real quickly on the unemployment. Um, the job search for unemployment, if you're 65 and older or if you're sick, 
or you have to take care of kids for homeschooling because the schools aren't open quite yet, um, there is a uh, exception for job search for that. That I do know, okay? So if you're 65 and older and you're, or you've been sick with the COVID or any sickness uh, for that particular week, then there's no need to check for job search. And I'm way over the time that I wanna go on in these videos. Um, thank you for watching my video. There's always a solution. Tomorrow's another day. I'll probably see you later on. Um, I'm going to get some more information uh, on, on this um, on this uh, credit stuff and uh, more on the ID me. Um, but share the video. Uh, get it out there um, and uh, send the people over to my channel. It's all about you guys. Um, I, I, I'll continue to fight. I'm the Rocky Marciano, right? I, I don't give up. Do the best I can. Got to be careful with these people. You don't want to say the wrong thing. You piss them off. So I don't. I don't. I want to keep the reporters in my pocket, so to speak. All right. Um, I will see you probably later on. God bless everybody.